Around the world, shales have existed beneath the surface of the Earth for millions of years. Some shales may still today contain gas. This short movie will take a look at how advanced technologies work to make this trapped gas flow out of the rocks. To drill a well, a rig is used, which when drilling operations are finished, is removed from the site. A drill bit is mounted on the end of the drill pipe which mechanically rotates and grinds the rocks away to make the hole. During this drilling process, a mixture of water and additives, called mud, is pumped into the hole to keep the drill bit cool and flush rock cuttings to the surface where they are collected. The drill is removed and a permanent pipe called a casing is inserted into the drilled hole and acts as a barrier to isolate the well from water zones. This casing also serves as a foundation for the blowout preventer. The next step is to pump cement down the casing, through the opening at the bottom, back up towards the surface, filling the space between the casing pipe and the hole and making a seal preventing interference of the well and the water zones. The drilling bit can be lowered back down the hole to restart drilling. The drill must first drill through the cement plug at the end of the casing pipe before drilling of new rock continues. Deep below the water bearing zones, typically 1500 to 4500 meters deeper, Shell hopes to find the targeted shale layers. The shale layer is often only tens of meters thick. The objective for the well is to touch the greatest surface area of shale rock which usually requires that the well is drilled with a horizontal section. This also allows for multiple wells to be drilled from one location, reducing the number of drilling surface locations required. If the plan is to drill a horizontal section, a special type of drilling device is used to begin to create the curved section. A downhole drilling motor containing a gyroscope is used, which can drill at an angle. Once the curved section is completed, drilling continues normally, but in a horizontal direction. A well might be three to 4,000 meters long, which will be lined with pipe placed permanently inside the hole. The pipe is made up of smaller sections that are connected together during the drilling process. Each section of pipe measures 10 meters in length. Once the well has reached the desired depth and location, the drill bit is removed from the well wall one last time. A completion well casing is inserted along the full length of the well bore. Cement is once again pumped down the well and forced up between the casing and wall of the hole. This process permanently secures the well bore and prevents hydrocarbons and other fluids from seeping out from the surrounding rock formations into the well. The drilling rig is now no longer needed and can be removed from the site. A wellhead is placed on the surface, connecting the top of the well. What happens next very much depends upon analysis by technical experts who look at the rock cuttings, samples and other tests carried out during the drilling of the hole. If gas is present deep underground, it is expected to be trapped and must be made to flow using a technique called hydraulic fracturing. First, deep underground holes must be made in the casing. This is called perforating. A crane is used to lower a perforating gun down the well pipe on a wire line several thousand meters to a point along the horizontal section. Next, an electrical current is sent down the wire line to charge a series of small holes through the pipe casing and cement a short distance into the shale rock. At this point, because the gas is held very tightly in the rock, it is not expected to just flow gas into the well casing. The gas must be stimulated to flow by fracking. This requires water, propant like sand, and additives to be pumped into the well bore under high pressure to the point where holes have just been made into the rock formation. The mixture is forced out through the perforations and onto the surrounding rock where it should fracture in the shale. Hopefully fractures are created that will provide a route for the gas trapped in the rock to flow into the well. Next, a temporary plug is placed to close off the perforated section of the well bore.
the process of perfing and tracking can be repeated several times along the horizontal section. Once all fracking is completed, the plugs are drilled out to allow the gas to flow up the wellbore. The last stage is then to install a new wellhead known as a Christmas tree on the surface, accompanied by other surface equipment that allows further testing and evaluation of gas properties. Our experience shows that thanks to the application of modern technologies, we can extract shale gas safely, efficiently and responsibly. It is becoming a highly productive source of energy around the world.